God. Man, it would be so much better at this game if I could just hit my targets. Come on, man. He was one shot. Are you having trouble hitting your targets in Battle Royals? Well, today we're going to show you how to get better at that on the first episode of... Alright, what's up guys? My name is Josh and today we're gonna start a kind of long-running video series on how to get better at BR games. Just breaking down all of the basics that I could possibly give you after thousands and thousands of hours in BRs. So, whether you're a beginner, an expert, or somewhere in between, and you just need maybe a little bit of help or a little bit more confidence in your shots or your gameplay, I'm here to give you those tips to make you a little bit better. In today's video, we're going to start with the most basic thing I could possibly think of in a BR game. Your aim it is probably bad. And I hate to be the one to tell you, but you're, you're trash, kid. But don't get me wrong. We have the ability to fix it and we're going to. But before we do that, make sure that if this video helps you in any way, shape or form, that you go down there and click that little like button, you know, maybe you subscribe. You do what you can. All right, let's get to it. All right, the first thing we're going to talk about today is aim trainers and how they actually help you get better at aiming. Now, a lot of people think that aim trainers don't really help you at all. And in all actuality, they really don't like give you better aim. They just teach you how to control your mouse and or your controller a little bit better, which in turn will probably lead to better aim in pretty much every video game you play. All right, since I mainly play on PC, I'm going to focus on that first. And the way we're going to do that is through this program now Kovacs is good for a lot of things but it's mostly really just good for building consistency in your aim whether you're trying to work on your tracking your flicking or even just basic clicking on targets in game Kovacs has a scenario for it that will probably help you out it's also equipped with a really nifty leaderboard that helps you track your score I mean it'll make you feel like you're doing better even if you just get a slightly better score than last time now just like building up any muscle in like a workout routine or anything like that you're going to have to be consistent with this and you're also going to have to build some sort of routine out thinking of it as basically your workout plan for bettering your aim now to do this in the program there are already built out scenarios and playlists that you can play every day that will probably give you improvement in whatever your game of choice is and as you can see on the left side of the screen right now i mean there's ones for apex there's also a couple for warzone there's ones for valorant and there's just basic tracking and flicking and all that stuff so what i want you to do if you're really looking to better your aim is to pick one playlist so say you want to get better at tracking in apex you're going to click on the apex tracking and on this right side there's a list of every single scenario in the playlist and what i want you to do is anywhere from three to maybe five times a week run through this entire playlist every time you do it focus on trying to do a little bit better than you did last time you'll start to notice that every time you play through it your scores will improve little by little don't get discouraged if you hit some sort of plateau it tends to happen uh, just take a couple days off mentally reset and get back to it now we'll move on to controllers which i uh, i don't really know why you would need help with your aim you basically have legal aim bot i'm just kidding i'm, I'm literally just kidding calm down okay it, it'll be fine now aim assist aside you can still probably use at least a little bit of help on your aim uh, there's multiple ways to do this but we're gonna focus on one exact way that i know of and that's playing either mod games or going into a shooting range in the game you play now i know a lot of battle royal players now either play warzone or apex that seem to be the two most popular ones at the moment um, both of these offer really really good ways to train your aim on either mouse and keyboard or controller but we're gonna start with warzone first now there's a really easy way to do this and a lot of people tend to just really not know about it so you go main menu click over here on private match and practice click on battle royal practice when you hit play training it's going to drop you into a battle royal game with a bunch of bots and you could literally just run around and shoot them it has all the same ground loot as what's on the current meta or rotation of ground loot um you can get a loadout which may be a little bit harder there are contracts and stuff you can do to get money faster um your goal when doing this is to just be consistent run around and kill as many bots as you can and each time you play through it try to get more and more kills what you're looking for through training is consistency you're trying to build up as much memory in your thumbs or your muscles to try to get to your targets as fast as possible do this by 
building a routine you do this three to five times a day for say five days a week eventually you're gonna start getting better now keep in mind these bots do basically just kind of stand still but it's still giving you the experience you need to just learn the map and learn how to get a little bit better each time now the next tip for giving your aim is a little bit different it's learning more or less the recoil patterns of every gun in whatever game you play I know in Warzone, there's different ways to do it. You could go through trials. You can go play a multiplayer round. You can do the bot games, like I said in the last tip. But in Apex, there's a little bit of a better way. And that's where the firing range comes in. All right, to get to the firing range, open up your Apex, obviously. Uh, you go down to where this is at, uh, and then you click on firing range. We're going to ignore the gold ranking right now because I've barely played any rank this season. All right, you open up your firing range. It's going to put you over here and you have to queue into it. But once you're in the firing range, as you can tell, there's multiple targets. There's a couple different bots, which you can actually bring to life. I'll show you that later. And there's every single gun in the game laid out right in front of you. So you can run up, grab whatever gun you want and practice working on your recoil control or just your aim in general on any of the bots. Now, this does work for both PC and console. So it gives you a little bit of an advantage that you can just come in here, even with your console friends, if you're on PC or your PC friends, if you're on console and just play against them. Um, you can turn off friendly fire and turn it back on again by going into the menu and just clicking, turning it off and on. And keep in mind, you are shooting at standing still targets. So you got to not feel super amazing about that. However, we could do something to change it. All right, to do this, you have to drop your guns first. So drop anything you have equipped and then run over to the far tunnel. It'll be on the far right side if you're looking directly at all of the tunnels. You'll run straight up to the top, all the way up here. You have to swap your champion to a champion that has some sort of vertical, like height gaining ability. So either Pathfinder or Valkyrie. You'll come up here, you'll stand directly in front of the banner. You have to look straight down, crouch, and then change your legend to any other legend that you want to play. So if you're trying to work on any of your abilities, it actually helps a little bit. Now, all of the bots that were down here before are moving around. They'll shoot at you, they'll try to kill you. They can kill you, and if you die, you just have to go down, grab new armor, grab weapons, whatever you're gonna try to do. I mean, honestly, it's just a really good way to warm up. Now, once again, I want to reiterate what you're trying to build with doing all of this is consistency. You're trying to get slightly better each time you do it the next time. So you do that by just building a routine out. So say you want to get better at Apex, you come into the arena maybe three, five times a week and you just sit here and shoot at targets for say like 20 minutes. Each time you shoot at them, try to get a little bit better at snapping the targets or try to get to your target faster. Try to track a little bit better each each time you play, work on something you're wanting to improve. Now, the last thing I kind of want to talk about is training with a purpose. Don't beat yourself up too much if you don't see yourself improving like immediately. It takes time. It really does. You have to work at it the same as you would work at anything else. However, just don't give up. Stay with it. As long as you keep with it and you're really like motivated, you will get somewhere. Just remember, you got this. You can get better. I believe you don't always have to be trash. <laughs> All right, that's it for today's video, guys. I hope anything I said helped you. Uh, if it does, be sure to just leave a comment. Tell me if I helped you at all. I mean, if I didn't help you, you could always click the dislike button. Eh, it is what it is. All right, I will see you guys next time. Everybody have a good rest of your day. Have a good rest of your week. And as always, stay hungry, dude.